What's going on everybody? Welcome back Jacked Up Fishing. Well, I'm out here right now. We're servicing the Sea Hunter. I'm doing some lower end fluid changes, just some overall maintenance and uh, going through some stuff before I put the boat back on the lift. Um, right now, I'm also working on our 21 shoal water, which you know, completely stripped out, gutted out. And now we're down to the bare bones of the boat. Um, in this video, I'm gonna show you how I paint it. What do I do to paint it? and uh, how it comes out. All right, so let's get started. So the first thing I need to do is take off the decals once again. I just put these on about a year ago, but they're coming off pretty easy. Get them off and then start sanding. So I'm just using a DA, a DeWalt electric DA with 400 grit sandpaper and I'm just scuffing it up. I'm not gonna prime it, just scuffing it enough just the paint sticks to it. So what I'm doing, I'm sanding the sides here. I'm going from the chine up. I'm gonna leave this part black, um, just jet black gel coat. I'm gonna paint all the way down the side, nice and easy, nothing crazy. As you can see, I don't know if you can see it on the video or not, but there's like a print showing through. It's called gatoring or whatever. It's when the uh, fiberglass starts to show through the gel coat. So that's the reason I'm painting it. I wanna sand it down paint it um, I've been buffing on this thing for about 10 years now the black really oxidizes quick so uh, I'm hoping to uh, shoot it with this it's like an Emron style paint it's really tough tough as nails and uh, I'll be able to shoot this hopefully I get most of this out by doing some sanding and then uh, I'm just gonna go right over it with the paint I got a little bit of 2k primer as well to throw on there just to uh, any nicks or scratches and stuff like that that I'm gonna sand out as well. So I got it all sanded. I moved the boat over to my brother-in-law's house, start taping it off for paint. I seen this is gonna be a slow process, taping off everything. And so I had to call in some reinforcements, so I called the family in. We knocked it out pretty quick as a team, able to get it all taped off and prepped. So we got the boat all covered up. It's all sanded down, all prepped, ready for paint. Now we're giving it a quick wipe down. And I'm gonna start mixing up some paint. So I'm using that Tamco paint I was talking about earlier in the video. Here it is, I got Tamco, it's a three to one mixture. So three parts paint, one part hardener. And uh, I started mixing it up already, as you can see. Got everything set up. I'm gonna get my gun set up. I'm just using a simple, Harbor Freight gun. I've been using these guns for gel coat and everything for a while. Hopefully I can get a pretty decent finish out of it. I'm pretty sure I can. They're pretty much throwaway guns and that's what I use them for, throwaway guns. I don't clean them very well or if I do clean them real well, they sit in the shop and get all gunked up anyway. So um, I don't do that much painting. Anyway, well, I'm gonna get the mix in here. It's three to one, like I said. I'm gonna put a little bit of reducer in it as well to kind of make it nice flow nicely through the gun. I've already set the gun up and uh, here we go. I shot the first coat the other day with the uh, Harbor Freight gun. It was spitting and sputtering, and didn't do well at all. I'm gonna show you what it did on my cowling here, but look at what it did. I don't know if you can see it, but it kind of gave it like a texture. I tried and tried and tried to make and tune that gun. I got one little coat and one side of the boat came out good, but I'm back down to sanding that back down. I bought a new gun. I bought the Black Widow, supposedly a pretty decent gun. I'm gonna try to shoot it. I did have a couple good panels on the uh, boat that looked really good. So I can't wait to see it when it's all glossy. But uh, right now I'm uh, back at it, getting dirty, sanding it down. And I gotta sand this cowling back down too. That is horrible, it looks like a rhino liner. But, uh, all right, well, I'm gonna get back to it. Back to sanding again. Reprepping. I wanna make this thing look boss. All right, so it's early in the morning. This is the second day, or the second shoot, I should say. I got the new gun. Um, the other gun didn't produce good at all. So I got a new gun. It's the Black Widow. I'll show you here in a little while. Right now, I'm just doing a final wipe. It's a little dewy out still right now so i'm gonna wipe everything down get ready to shoot again hopefully this one comes out a lot better so i'm just gonna continue wiping down 
and uh, make sure everything dries up. So I can't stress how important it is to have a surface that's clean. So I wiped this thing at least four times before painting. So this is what I'm using right here, Surface Prep by High Tech. It's pretty good stuff. It's called a Wipeout Surface Prep. Pretty good. Wipe it on first, and then you wipe it with another rag behind it to kind of, because it brings everything to the surface. You get it wet. Make sure you get it all good. Everywhere you think it's going to be. And you come back with a dry rag. Pick up all the contaminants it's bringing to the surface. That's what you do. All right, so I got it all prepped. I got it all taped off. Everything's good. It's nice and early in the morning. The dew is just now getting off everything. I've been wiping it. I'm going to give it one more kick wipe. Then I'm going to use the tack cloth. The tack cloth gets any lint, anything, any debris on top of the paint that you're going to you know, paint on. You don't want to have anything like that, but I just want to do a quick wipe with a lint cloth or a tack cloth, I should say. And pretty much this is what it is right here it's just a little piece of cheesecloth it's got some stickiness to it and you just want to kind of unravel it and bunch it up and just kind of go over it nice and lightly on top of the paint it picks up anything like loose sand or loose lint anything like that all right sun's just now burning off everything I want to get it in shot since i'm painting outside we want to do it early in the morning before the wind kicks up today it's like five mile an hour winds but it's not supposed to be till later so i'm gonna go ahead and give it a quick wipe again real quick it's the most important thing all right i've wiped everything down i'm just gonna run over it real quick with this tack, tack cloth and uh, make sure there's no debris on there so as y'all seen before i'm using tamco paint it's a three to one ratio with the hardener. It's a one part hardener for three parts paint. You also add a little bit up to 5% reducer. I usually do that on the final coat. And today, today I stepped up to a new gun. It's called the Black Widow. It's the HTE gun, new filter, new gun. I even got the PPE system, which is these little inserts to go inside the cup makes it nice and clean up easy i got some gloves on this time because i'm working with black paint and it doesn't come off too easy let me get to mixing i'm gonna get to shooting hopefully we get to put on some paint it's starting to kick off here with any paint you want to stir stir it up real good before you start mixing so i'm gonna mix up one quart right now and then uh we'll start with that for the first coat So I did 24 ounces of paint. And I'm going to do 8 ounces of the hardener. Yep. 8 ounces of the hardener. I use slow because we're in a hotter climate. Slow hardener. No reducer this time. Put it right up to 32. mix this thoroughly so I got a test piece of wood over here I'm gonna test the gun before I shoot any paint this time It's good. Here we go. You want to stay consistent? Line off of everything.
Shooting pretty good. All right, I'm gonna continue on. Everything was going really good until I moved the hose a little bit, pulled it, and it blew up right at the gun. Kind of put a little stuff in my paint. Nothing crazy. I was able to get it back together, start painting again. All right, so I got coat one on right now. I got it all down the side here. It's starting to look real good. Got the motor parts painted. They're starting to lay out real nice. I see some bugs starting to fly around. I got to get this second coat on. It says within 15 minutes, start recoat. 10 to 15. So I'm going to go ahead and mix up another batch. Let's go. I'm done shooting. Here's the finished product. She looks good. Shining, motor parts are shining. There's a little bit of orange peel, not too bad. As you can see, they all came out good. All the parts and pieces came out good. Just a little orange peel. I could probably wet sand and buff it. The black came out on the boat really good. Now, I'm not a professional painter by any means. Um, sometimes I struggle with it. Sometimes I do pretty good, it just depends. It's all in the prep though, but I just, I'm cleaning up the gun, the brand new gun I got, the Black Widow. Seemed to shoot pretty good, man. I was able to dial it in, get it, get it atomizing real good. And I was able to put it to it. I mean, it's hard to show, but you can see like, got some good shine. Hopefully I'll never have to really compound and buff too hard anymore. This boat sits on the lift pretty much all year round. That's why the trailer has no fenders on it. It just uh, get me back and forth in and out of the water when needed. All right, well, I'm gonna clean up everything. I'll check you back after a few when it's all cured and uh, we'll go from there. All right, so we're all cleaned up. Cleaned up everything around the shop here. We're good to go. Got the trash going to the road. I got both boats in here. I got the Baycraft which I haven't told y'all about yet, but we're getting ready to do the stringers. The stringers pop loose in the Baycraft. So we're getting ready to do that boat and my boat is in here as well. We got a nice big shop to work in and uh, you're gonna see some cool tighten up Tuesdays coming up, that's for sure. But I got the paint on the boat. That's the, the cowling right there. It's got a little orange peel. I'm gonna have to wet sand it and buff it out. Same thing with the hull, but it looks good. I don't know if you can see it in the inside the shop here, but um, that's what it looks like right there. I got a couple pieces. Got the new motor over there and uh, new to me. It's not a brand new motor. It's a new to me mo motor. It's a 2005 Yamaha 225. It's a Merck branded Yamaha, so it's black. Thought it was pretty cool. It's only got 400 hours on it and a buddy of mine sold it to me. First and foremost, I'm gonna get some gel coat. That's what's next on the agenda. So as you've seen, the cheap gun didn't work too well. I bought a nice, a nicer gun. It was like a $200 model, the Black Widow. It laid the paint down nice. I also did a, fixed a few more things since I was doing it. Made it a little bit more straight. As you know, with black, it shows a little bit more, but it, that paint laid down beautiful this time. Took a little extra work sanding the, the, the texture down from the other gun that didn't shoot good, but all in all, worked out pretty good. Looks good. I won't have to buff it anymore. I could just wax it, keep it waxed just like a car. If you have any more questions about this or any of the products I used, I'm going to put the link in the description below and check it out. All right, well, that's all I got for you on this one. I'm going to go home, get a shower, close this shop down, and I'll see you next Tuesday on Tighten Up Tuesday. If you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button down below. And uh, every Tuesday, I'm going to try to put something out for you guys for the next little bit at least. All right, jacked up out. <laughs>